Hello folks, Alex here. This is Alex Unabridged and today I've got a mini haul for you. Yes, welcome or welcome back to the channel if that is the case. Yes, today is a little bit of a change of plan. Uh, <laughs> I've, I was hoping to get my uh, my top 10 favourite plays out, uh, but uh, it's way behind. I, it, I, I t you might have you know noticed that I talk quite a lot anyway, but when it comes to plays, it turns out that I can talk just endlessly. And so uh, the amount of footage that I have for that uh, for that video is rather long should we say I don't think anybody really wants a feature length film <laughs> of me doing uh, top 10 plays so uh, that will take me a little while longer to uh, to edit down to a, a more palatable length uh, so that will come next week instead uh, but today I just thought I'd pop out a little uh, a little haul video because I went home at the weekend to see my uh, my parents and my sister because my sister's birthday recently uh, so uh, we went over to give presents and eat lots of food and all of that uh, and then inevitably when I'm there I peruse uh, my mum's uh, bookshelves um, of which she has lots. Um, uh, my mum was the one who kind of first got me into reading uh, when I was a kid um, and, so, and she's continued to be a you know avid reader um, throughout her life. Um, and so she always has, uh, you know, ever-changing bookshelves as new things come in and old things go out. Uh, so I always like to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a snaffle of books when I'm there. And she didn't disappoint, as always. So I've come back <laughs> with a, a little, a little haul of books, just a, just a small one. Uh, but I have come come back with some new books. So I thought I'd just go through those today. Um, so yes. So the first one. Uh, I found on her shelves is uh, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe by Douglas Adams, which of course is the second book uh, in the Hitchhikers series. Uh, and I read The Hitchhikers for my adventures in genre for January, uh, for January was for jokes, uh, comedy books. Uh, so I saw that there winking at me on mum's bookshelves and uh, and she said, oh yeah, take that one. I've, I've, I've read that ages ago. Um, so, uh, so yes, I, I was allowed to take this one uh, and... Uh, and yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll be, be able to keep going with the series, which is, is something I said I would like to do. So uh, I've got that one ready and waiting now when I want to uh, crack on. So that is the first. Then uh, I saw this one on the bookshelf, uh, The Alchemist. Um, and this is one that I'd seen pop up a few times recently, actually, on people's uh, booktube videos. Um, and most recently, I think it was on... Um, Reading Off Grid, Maddie's channel. I think this might even be on Maddie's TBR for this month. Um, so, uh, so yes, and I'd heard good things about it, and my uh, my mum confirmed that, uh, and said she'd very much enjoyed it. Um, but again, you know, had finished it and was done with it. So, uh, so that one went in the haul pile. So, uh, so I've got that one ready and waiting now for when I want. Nice, nice short one. I think you know, quite quite easy to read as well. So that will be that will probably be a mood read. I should think that'll be one where I'll just go, oh yeah, fancy fancy trying that now, and we'll just pick it up one day. So yes, the Alchemist. Next up, um, I have got uh, one that I saw. Uh, quite recently, actually, when I was looking for books for my March's Mystery Adventures in Genre um, and didn't end up going for it. So it was an audio book that I saw. Um, but Mum had these sat on the shelves. And this is um, Ambrose Parry's uh, The Way of All Flesh, um, which I really like the look of. It isn't the sort of thing I would usually read because it's kind of historical fiction. Um, but the fact it's mystery and it's set in Edinburgh uh, in... Um, in sort of Victorian Edinburgh, it says, it says 1847 on the back, um, and it's um, yeah, it looks like medicine, and you know, follows a young medical student and uh, I think a, a housemaid um, of the doctor that he's apprenticed to, kind of you know, having to go and try and solve some grisly crimes by the sounds of it. Um, and Ambrose Parry, from what I understand, is uh, is actually Chris Brookmeyer and his wife writing together. 
Um, and my dad loves Chris Brookmeyer um, and has been saying for ages, oh yeah, read some of his stuff, read some of his stuff. And I haven't got to it yet, um, but uh, I do like the sound of this. So uh, so perhaps I will start with Chris Brookmeyer and his wife together writing uh, as Ambrose Parry. So yes, I got that one and I'm at the second one as well. So, <laughs> so I brought two back. So if I like the first, I will crack on with the second. So the second being The Art of Dying. Um, so, uh, so yes, you know, it'd be, be, be lovely to kind of, um, try some, something completely new to me. As I say, this isn't the sort of stuff that I would ordinarily read. Um, but it does sound, I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. So we'll see how I get on with those when I get around to them. And the final one that I have, the final one is Ness, which is, uh, which is one that I bought my mum for Christmas, um, kind of in the hope that it would at some point, you know, come back to me as a loan. Because <laughs> I really liked the look of it when she put it on her list. I'd, I'd kind of heard of it, but I hadn't really looked into it much because I do love Robert McFarlane's stuff. Um, you know, if you've seen my uh, non-fiction top 10, you'll know that uh, one, of the, one of Robert McFarlane's books, uh, Mountains of the Mind, um, is, uh, is my number one. Uh, and I've read a lot of his other stuff as well. And it, it is brilliant writing. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I kind of thought, oh, this sounds a bit different, this one. Um, so yes, I bought it for her and she says it is wonderful. This one will go back to her, um, after, after I've read it. The others that she's given me, she's kind of said, you know, send them, send them to a charity shop or, you know, um, local, donate them to the local library or what have you, you know, when you've finished, because she doesn't keep everything these days, because otherwise she'd have no room left in the house for anything else. Um, but yeah, this one, she, she was very much kind of like, no, I want that back. <laughs> so I know it's, I know it's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful little book. I mean, it's full of these wonderful, um, dark, scratchy, you know, black and white, um, drawings, um, you know, very kind of, um, mysterious looking, uh, images, you know, that kind of thing, um, by Stanley Donwood. Um, and the writing is, is Robert McFarlane. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very intriguing. It's a very intriguing one. It's kind of described as um, sort of part novella, part prose poem, part mystery play, uh, kind of, you know, that the, the, the um, you know, both McFarlane and Donwood have, have made this kind of modern myth. Um, and uh, yeah, it just, it, it looks really intriguing. I'm not sure what I'll make of it, but, uh, but yes, I'm very interested to find out on that one. Um, so I'll probably read this quite quickly. This this has probably kind of gone onto the TBR for this one. <laughs> um, I keep adding to it, and there's no way I'll get through it all. But but yeah, I think this one will probably get read quite quickly, to be honest. Um, so yes, those are the uh, the books that I have brought back from my mum's. Um, I have another one to add to the TBR as well for the next two weeks because it's uh, it's it's our book club pick. Uh, my mum and um, my sister and I have got uh, a little book club going um, where we pick stuff from the Audible Plus catalogue that we've all got access to. Um, and so this month's pick is Animal Farm uh, by George Orwell um, that uh, my sister and I have actually never read. We've seen the animated version, but, uh, but my mum uh, has read it before, but not for many, many years. So we're going to we're going to have a listen to that. And that is narrated by Stephen Fry. So that that will be very interesting. And I will get through that in the next couple of weeks because I'm going away with family in two weeks time. And we want to be able to have a proper in-person book club. Uh, so that will be uh, that will be done. Uh, yeah. In the next couple of weeks. It's only a short one. It's only, I think, about three and a half hours on on Audible. So that should be able to fit that in. OK. Um, and uh, the only other thing that I came back with from me mums is uh is this little booklet uh which she gets with her writing magazine she doesn't really write anymore um, uh, but she still likes to keep uh, keep up to date with what's going on in the writing world and she still likes to kind of have stuff around in case she does you know suddenly feel like writing a, a poem or a very short story or something um and she uh, so she yeah, she, she gets the writing magazine uh and uh she just got this book of competitions and this lists an absolute ton of competitions uh, from all over the world um, and uh, all their closing dates and what they're about. So there's stuff for poetry, 
flash fiction, microfiction, short stories, novellas, first parts of novels, full novels, you know, pretty much any kind of writing form <laughs> and uh, in pretty much any genre that you can think of. Um, and so that's the ones that have all been kind of, you know, the information has been released for, for the moment. And she's, uh, she's, this is on loan uh, from, from mum uh, for the next couple of weeks till I see her again. So I can go through it and note down all of the possible competitions that I might want to, to submit some stuff to when I've got, uh, got some uh, bits and pieces done. Uh, so again, it's kind of motivation for me to kind of think, yeah, I'll, have a go at that and I'll have a go at that. So it's just a good way to kind of keep me writing to think, well, yeah, you know, I could do something and submit that. Um, something to aim for. Uh, so yes, so uh, I will be going through that and seeing what writing competitions I can potentially enter uh, and see where I get. Wouldn't expect to get anywhere, but it's I think it's always good to give it a go because if, if you don't try, you don't get. Um, so, uh, so yes. Uh, so yes, I had a very nice weekend, uh, as I say, stealing my mum's books <laughs> um, and just, you know, chilling out with family, talking books and uh, a nice little run on the beach with the dog. Dog ran, not me. You know, when I go to my mum's, they are by the coast, the east coast. And so uh, we're not talking about books. Uh, we have a nice trip out um, to, uh, to have a play on the beach um, and get windswept. <laughs> so yes, good weekend. Um, so yes, I will leave it there for today. That is just a quick haul catch up um, from me uh, and to say plays will be coming soon. Um, but uh, yes, I will be back with a tag video uh, on Tuesday and um, the adventures in genre will be out on Friday. Um, so uh, if you are uh, if you're looking forward to my February for fantasy wrap up, um, that is coming soon. Uh, so yes, but from me for now. I will say, ta-ra.